Attic Greek is the main Greek dialect that was spoken in ancient Attica, which includes Athens. Of the ancient dialects, it is the most similar to later Greek and is the standard form of the language that is studied in ancient Greek language courses. Attic Greek is sometimes included in the Ionic dialect. Together, Attic and Ionic are the primary influences on modern Greek. Origin and Range Greek is a branch of the Indo-European language family, which includes English. In historical times, Greek already existed in several dialects, one of which was Attic. The earliest written records in Greek date from the 16th to 11th centuries BC and exist in an archaic writing system, Linear B, which belongs to the Mycenaean Greeks. The distinction between Eastern and Western Greek is believed to have arisen by Mycenaean times or before. Mycenaean Greek represents an early form of Eastern Greek, a main branch to which Attic also belongs. Because of the gap in the written record between the disappearance of Linear B, around 1200 BC, and the earliest inscriptions in the later Greek alphabet, around 750 BC, the further development of dialects remains opaque. Later Greek literature wrote about three main dialects, Aeolic, Doric, and Ionic. Attic was part of the Ionic dialect group. Old Attic is used for the dialect of Thucydides and the dramatists of 5th century Athens. New Attic is used for the language of later writers. Attic Greek persisted until the 3rd century BC, when it was replaced by its similar but more universal offspring, the common dialect. The cultural dominance of the Athenian Empire and the later adoption of Attic Greek by King Philip II of Macedon, father of the conqueror, Alexander the Great, were key to the eventual victory of Attic over other Greek dialects and the spread of Koine Greek. Throughout Alexander's Hellenic Empire, the rise of Koine is conventionally marked by the accession into 85 BC of Greek-speaking Ptolemy II, who ruled from Alexandria, Egypt, and launched the Alexandrian period, when the city of Alexandria and its expatriate Greek medium scholars flourished. In its day, the original range of the spoken Attic dialect included Attica, Euboea, some of the central Cyclades islands, and the northern coast of Thrace. The closely related Ionian was spoken along the western and northwestern coasts of Asia Minor on the east side of the Aegean Sea. Eventually, the texts of literary Attic were widely studied far beyond their homeland, first in the classical civilizations of the Mediterranean, and later in the Muslim world, Europe, and wherever European civilization was spread in other parts of the world. Literature. Athens and its dialect remained relatively obscure until constitutional changes led to democracy in 594 BC, the beginning of the classical period and of Athenian influence. The first extensive works of literature in Attica are the plays of the dramatists Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides, and Aristophanes in the 5th century BC. The military exploits of the Athenians led to some universally read and admired history, as found in the works of Thucydides and Xenophon. Slightly less known because they are more technical and legal are the orations by Antiphon, Demosthenes, Lysias, Isocrates, and many others. The Attic Greek of the philosopher, Aristotle, whose mentor was Plato, dates to the period of transition between classical Attic and Koine. Students who learn ancient Greek usually begin with the Attic dialect and continue, depending upon their interests, to the Koine of the New Testament and other early Christian writings, to the Homeric Greek of Homer and Hesiod, or to the Ionic Greek of Herodotus and Hippocrates. Alphabet. Attic Greek, like other dialects, was originally written in a local variant of the Greek alphabet. According to the classification of archaic Greek alphabets, which was introduced by Adolf Kirchhoff, the Old Attic system belongs to the Eastern, or Blue, type, insofar as it respectively uses the letters Psi and Chi with their classical values. Unlike Western or Red alphabets, which used Chi for Ks and expressed K with Psi. In other respects, Old Attic shares many features with the neighboring Euboean alphabet. 
Like the latter, it used an L-shaped variant of lambda. It lacked the consonant symbols shifa, case, and cipher, ps, expressing these sound combinations with chi sigma and phi sigma, respectively. Moreover, like most other mainland Greek dialects, Attic did not yet use omega and eta for the long vowels, and Instead, it expressed the vowel phonemes O, O, with the letter O micron and E, E, with the letter epsilon. Moreover, the letter eta was used as heta, with the consonantal value of H, rather than the vocaloc value of E. During the 5th century, Athenian writing gradually switched from this local system to the more widely used Ionic alphabet that is native to the eastern Aegean Islands and Asia Minor. By the late 5th century, the concurrent use of elements of the Ionic system with the traditional local alphabet had become commonplace in private writing, and, in 403 BC, it was decreed that public writing would consistently switch to the new Ionic orthography, as part of the reform following the Thirty Tyrants. This new system, also called the Euclidean alphabet, after the name of the Archon Euclides who oversaw the decision, was to become the common classical Greek alphabet adopted throughout the Greek-speaking world. The classical works of Attic literature were subsequently handed down to posterity in the new Ionic spelling, and it is this classical orthography in which they read today. Phonology Vowels long a proto-Greek long a Attic long e, but are after e, i, r, tilde Ionic e in all positions, tilde Doric and aolic a in all positions, proto-Greek and Doric mater Attic meter, mother, Attic cora tilde Ionic chore, place, country, but proto-Greek long a Attic e after w, deleted by classical period. Proto-Greek core were early Attic Ionic asterisk core were Attic core, shorter Proto-Greek shorter Attic short E, tilde Doric, shorter remains, Doric Artemis tilde Attic Artemis, sonorant clusters compensatory lengthening of vowel before cluster of sonorant and S, after deletion of S, tilde Aeolic, compensatory lengthening of sonorant. Pi VSR or VRs Attic Ionic Doric VVR, VSR or VRs AEOLIC VRR, Proto Indo European Asterisk Esme Attic Ionic Emi Tilde AEOLIC Emi I am. Upsilon Proto Greek and other dialects, U, became Attic, Y, represented by Y in Latin transliteration of Greek names. Boeotian Curios tilde Attic Curios, Lord. In the diphthongs U and O, Upsilon continued to be pronounced U. Contraction Attic contracts more than Ionic. A plus E long A. Nickery Nicker, Conquer. E plus E pi asterisk tres proto Greek trehes Attic tres equals tau rho epsilon sigma 3. E plus OO early asterisk genes O Zionic genius Attic genus of a kind. Vowel shortening attic E is sometimes shortened to E, when followed by a short vowel, with lengthening of the short vowel, EOEO, when followed by a long vowel, EOEO, when followed by U and S, EUs EUs, Basileos Basileos, of a king, Basilian Basilian, Basileusi Basileusi, High pheresis attic deletes of one of two vowels in a row. This sound change is called high pheresis. Homeric bow though ozatic bow ethos, running to a cry, helper in battle. Consonants palatalization pi asterisk Kentucky or asterisk key proto Greek ts attic tt, ionic and coin ss. Proto Greek asterisk glock yar attic glotter, ionic glosser, tongue. Sometimes proto Greek asterisk tie and asterisk tw attic tt, ionic and coin ss. Pi asterisk quethwars attic tetes, ionic tesses, 4. Proto Greek and Doric T before I or Y attic ionic S. Doric T the NTI attic ti these E equals tau iota theta epsilon iota sigma iota, he places. Shortening of SS early attic ionic SS classical attic S. 
pi asterisk medios homeric mesosatic mesos middle loss of w proto greek w was lost in attic before historical times proto greek core we attic core girl retention of h attic retained proto greek h but certain other dialects lost it Proto-Indo-European asterisk C star M E Z Attic Histamon Cretan Histamon We stand Movable N Attic Ionic places an N at the end of some words that would ordinarily end in a vowel when the next word starts with a vowel to prevent hiatus. Passan elegan They spoke to everyone versus Passi legacy Passi dative plural of all Legacy They speak Elege He was speaking Tide C, he places, makes. Morphology. Morphology as used here means word formation, it can also include inflection, the formation of the forms of declension or conjugation by suffixing endings, but that topic is presented under ancient Greek grammar. Attic tends to replace the te doer of suffix with tes. Dicastes for dicaster, judge. The Attic adjectival ending eios and corresponding noun ending, both two syllable with the diphthong a, stand in place of eios, with three syllables, in other dialects. Politia, Cretan Politia, constitution, both from Politia, where the w drops out. Grammar, Attic Greek grammar is to a large extent ancient Greek grammar, or at least when the latter topic is presented it is with the peculiarities of the Attic dialect. This section only mentions some of the Attic peculiarities. Number in addition to singular and plural numbers, Attic Greek had the dual number. This was used to refer to two of something, and was present as an inflection in nouns, adjectives, pronouns and verbs. Attic Greek was the last dialect to retain this from older forms of Greek, and the dual number had died out by the end of the 5th century BC. Declension with regard to declension, the stem is the part of the declined word to which case endings are suffixed. In the alpha or first declension feminines, the stem ends in long alpha, parallel to the Latin first declension. In Attic Ionic the stem vowel has changed to eta in the singular, except after epsilon, iota, rho. For example the respective nominative, genitive, dative and accusative singular forms are gnome, gnomes, gnome, gnomen, opinion, but thea, thes, thea, theon, goddess. The plural is the same in both cases. No my and thei, but other sound changes were more important in its formation. For example, original as in the nominative plural was replaced by the diphthong i, which did not undergo the change of a to e. In the fewer stem masculines, the genitive singular follows the o declension, stratiatus, stratiatu, stratiote, etc. In the o, o micron or second declension, mainly masculines, the stem ends in oe, which is composed in turn of a root plus the thematic vowel. An oe in Indo-European ablaut series parallel to similar formations of the verb. It is the equivalent of the Latin second declension. The alternation of Greek os and Latin us in the nominative singular is familiar to readers of Greek in Latin. In Attic Greek an original genitive singular ending asterisk osio after losing the s lengthens the stem o to the spurious diphthong al. Logos, the word, log al from asterisk logos yo, of the word. The dative plural of Attic Ionic has oisi, which appears in early Attic but later simplifies to ois. Anthropoise, to or for the men, classical Attic. See also Classical Athens Classical Attic may refer either to the varieties of Attic Greek spoken and written in Greek majuscule during the 5th and 4th centuries BC or to the Hellenistic and Roman era standardized Attic Greek, mainly on the language of Attic orators, and written in Greek unseal. Varieties The varieties of classical era Attic are the vernacular and poetic dialect of Aristophanes, the dialect of Thucydides, the dialect and orthography of Old Attic inscriptions in Attic alphabet before 403 BC. 
Thucydide orthography, albeit transmitted, is close to them. The conventionalized and poetic dialect of the Attic tragic poets, mixed with epic and Ionic Greek and used in the episodes. Formal Attic of Attic orators, Plato, Xenophon and Aristotle, imitated by the Atticists or Neo-Attic writers. It is considered good or standard Attic.